Welcome to Lady Rate. It's Full Rate again. Hi. I've got some goodies from Purple Hair, and this video is sponsored by no other than my debit card. I got this detangling brush, which I will try out in just a moment, and this 360 spray bottle because um, I like fancy stuff. They also added this pamphlet with all of their natural hair products and a little note that says, Hey Solrette, thank you for the love, wishing you all the best for 2021. Enjoy the goodies. Aww, so sweet. Alright, let's start breaking things. Here's the brush with the purple hair logo on the handle and it's got the clip that you can remove if you want maximum flexibility. On the back there are two rows of holes, one towards the top and one towards the bottom. I'd say the bottom row gives you more flexibility and the top row is the least flexible. I filled the spray bottle with water so my hair doesn't get dry during detangling. First, I'll be shampooing with Mera Amla Oil Shampoo. I'll be skipping through that because the main focus of this video is the detangling. But if you do want to see my full wash day routine, check out this video in the description box or on the screen after this video. So, you know me, I haven't detangled my hair in the slightest. I'm going to attempt to divide my hair in 8 sections, which I will later change to 4 and you'll see why in a moment. The first time you use the spray bottle, nothing will come out. Now, don't panic, just keep spraying and eventually the water will arrive and it'll all be okay, promise. I'm just keeping my hair wet and then I'm using Mira Amla Oil Conditioner. That's why I got the one liter so I can really, really bathe every single strand in conditioner. Now for the really fun part. I first tried using the brush without the clip. I don't have a specific technique to this, I'm just going with what feels right for my hair. I found that going vertically worked for the relaxed ends, but that's the easy part. It's not time to happy dance yet. I've still got the 6 months of new growth to navigate through. Going vertically on the new growth was tugging on my hair way too much. The brush is actually less flexible when you use it that way. So I tried using it horizontally which worked a lot better but it was still tugging my hair and it was kind of painful. I mean it was definitely going through but not without pain. That's my hair stretched from where the new growth ends. I can really really see how long the new growth is getting after it's fully detangled. For the next section, I put the clip on the bottom row so it has medium flexibility and this was going through my hair really quickly, even the new growth. It was a little tricky to get a good grip on the brush with my hands wet with conditioner, especially the bottle, but eventually I found a comfortable way to hold everything. I found it harder to detangle right on that line of demarcation because that's where all the huge tangles tend to be. Lastly, I tried it with the clip on the top row. I didn't really like it on the top row. It's the least flexible and it makes the brush too wide so I ended up tugging on other sections. Towards the end, I decided to try a bigger section because it is quite a big brush. And you know what? That actually worked a lot better. I got through my hair faster and it wasn't tugging on little pieces. I left the conditioner in for about 10 minutes and the heat from my head or the shower usually gets the deep conditioning done. I just did my usual liquid cream oils and let my hair air dry in two braids. The clip on the bottom row worked best for me. It's a little bit sturdy but still flexible enough to work through my hair. The top row made the brush the least flexible and too wide, unless I switched to bigger sections of course. And without the clip, it's the most flexible but it tugged on my hair a lot. It hurt and it took longer so there was just no point. I actually do like the mist spray bottle more than the regular spray bottles. It sprays water very evenly and I have more control so I don't end up spraying water on literally everything around me. The best way to hold it with wet, oily hands is by putting one finger right on the sprayer and the rest 
in the grove underneath. To give you guys a good view of the spray in action, I used it on an indoor plant. I also want to show you guys the shedding after I fully detangled my hair. Now this might seem like a lot, but for me, it's normal. Firstly, hair will shed quite a bit when you're transitioning and secondly, I've come to realize that I have fine, dense hair, so like it takes effort to see my scalp. So the more hair you have, the more shedding. I'm going to be doing more protective styling going forward, so make sure you are subscribed because that is coming up soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!